Today we're having a look at how to do overlays in iMovie. So what we'll do, we'll open up iMovie and we've just loaded one of our origami videos down in our timeline. So there's a few different overlays that you can do. The first one, what we'll do, we're just going to drag a single image just onto our timeline where it's sitting above our original clip. What we can then do, we'll highlight that image and then in the top right, just above the preview pane, we're going to go to Video Overlay Settings. So by default, the method that it's provided for the overlay is the cutaway. So what that is, is that it's going to go from your original video, as soon as the timeline hits that image, it will then show just the image, and then it will continue on with the video. Let's just have a look at what that looks like. So we'll just play it through. That's often the feature that I use if I'm looking to show a finished result at the start of a video. Or for example, if you're showing a keyboard shortcut and you want an image of the keyboard to appear. So what we'll do, we'll just remove that one for now. We'll just drag another video on top of our timeline. So what we'll do, we'll have a look at the next option now and highlight that clip at the top of our timeline. We'll go up to the video overlays again we're going to choose next is the green blue screen. So this is how you can do green screens and blue screens within iMovie. So our video that we drag down onto the timeline, if we just preview it up the top here in our library, you can see that on this ninja star there's a green tip and a blue tip. When these are added to the video overlays, these are going to effectively disappear on the video. So what we'll do We'll just play that through. So you can see the blue and the green tips are no longer appearing. The second one that we can do is the split screen option. This is where you want to have two videos appear on the same screen. So we'll just play that through by default. It's just got side by side with that top video on the left hand side. You can customize this further by choosing the position of that video. So you could have it instead on the right, on the top or on the bottom. At all times, if you're not happy with the result, you can always hit the reset button again and it will set all your overlay defaults back to default, including the cutaway option. The final and probably one that you will use a bit is picture in picture. So we'll choose that option. We'll make sure it's selected on our timeline. And then we've got the little pointers in each corner. We can then increase the size of that video. Let's just make it big for the purpose of this video right in the middle so we can see it clearly. And we'll just play that through. The other thing that you will want to do within your videos, down on the timeline you'll want to set some fade-ins and fade-outs. So while you're hovering over that selected clip, which is going to be the clip on top, you've got some little sliders on the top. These are the sorts of sliders that you can also use for um, doing audio fades and those sorts of things. So we'll drag those in towards the middle. You can see there's a triangle image that appears. So we'll play that through. You can now see the overlay slowly fades in and fades out. Going back to the overlay options in the menu, you can also set borders around your picture and picture if you're looking to do that. So what we can do instead, we'll set a thick border just to make it more obvious. You can set your border color. So for example, Let's choose a red. You can also drop a shadow underneath if you'd like. And at all times, remember you've got that reset button on the right. Going back to picture in picture, the last thing we'll look at is how it comes in. So we did show that dissolve in and dissolve out option before. But there are a couple of other options. So zoom, this is where it will quickly come in and then zoom back out again. Let's just play that one through.
And finally, the swap option. This is where your overlaid video, the one on top, will then take over the screen. And once it finishes, the other one will return. It's a bit like a reverse picture in picture. So we'll play that one through. So plenty of options there to do overlays within iMovie. It's all very simple, it's all drag and drop. The menus are very straightforward. And if you do get stuck along the way, you've always got the option of hitting the reset button on the right hand side, which will take you back to your original video. So that's how to do overlays in iMovie. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, have a look at our other iMovie videos. Hope that you enjoy.